Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about hair, okay? One of my most asked questions is about my hair. So I don't know if you know, but a while ago I cut my hair off due to a bad keratin treatment and I kind of was insecure about my hair, didn't know what to wear it, how to wear it. And I kind of got creative with my half wig styles. So if you want to see how I do all these styles, just keep watching. But first, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and also thumbs this video up. If you like vlogs, lifestyle, hair, curvy girls, I got you. So this is the wig we're working with today. She is from Outre. I'll go ahead and link her below in the description box so you guys can see it. This is what she looks like new in the pack. Like, I'll take it out a little bit you can see she's like super shiny and I don't really like when it's too shiny so I waited a little bit before I showed you this video I want her to get worn in like even for that one when I take it out of the bag I'm gonna like brush it out so that way it just doesn't look synthetic -y. you know what I'm saying you can do this with um human hair wigs too but this is the one I'm choosing to do today anyway let's go ahead and get into it first things first is I'm gonna moisturize because I haven't today this this is what I'm working with I hope this doesn't cause any added flakes or anything like that sometimes moisturizers don't work with gels this is an old wash and go so I don't really mind it let's do my favorite style right now I usually like to flip over on this side so let me show you how I do that do my sideburns too just because I feel like it just helps with the look sometimes I do both sides Sometimes I don't, it really just depends. Leave probably like that much out, which isn't much. The back always goes in a low bun. And then we flip that bad boy on. So from this flipping, I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna push this hair up to cover that. Does that make sense? So yeah, so she's on. Now, as you can see, she don't really blend that go to my curl pattern today sometimes I'll do a twist out so that way she blends well but this is just because I'm showing y'all a whole bunch of different styles I'm just gonna twist my hair underneath that way it's tucked in to the curls get you a bobby pin to cover this side and kind of have like a curly bang again I've pushed that forward so our wig line is undetectable I brought this forward and yeah that is the first look sometimes i do this like this or i do it like on this side but what do we think this is probably my favorite look it's super easy super effortless show you what it look like in the back i hope it don't look bad i never looked at it but honestly what the back of my head look like is none of my business so the next one is for when you want to do a updo which i probably should do more i don't know why i don't do this anymore i used to all the time so I'm just gonna leave some hair out in the back, around the perimeter, should I say, around the perimeter of my head, so everywhere. So basically putting your hair up in the middle. Okay, so normally I would like to braid this down, so that way it's not so big and bulky, but for the purpose of this video, you get the point. Next, I'll just go ahead and secure the hair around, push everything back and around, should I say and then flip up okay so now this is what the flip up looks like again if she was braided down it would not be this bulky but we're just doing a pineapple um because my hair is this is why i don't do this look anymore i've just realized it's because my hair is shorter in the back so it's harder to cover than it used to be but anyways i'm just gonna secure that with a bobby pin and there you go you got a nice cute little updo and like i would even Hold on. Five hours later. Pair this with a scarf. You can put a little scarf around and have, just have a cute little summertime look. For this one, you don't need to leave too much out. Again, another low bun or braids. Braids are probably best for this one so it's not poking out in the back. Okay, so this is the next look where I'm going through and I'm kind of splitting the hair in half. I like to do these once the wig has been worn a little bit because if you do it when it's new and too shiny, your hair won't blend with the um, 
with the wig. Well, unless you like have this texture here. So I lay that forward and then I bring this back so it doesn't get like caught up in there. And then from here, I just do a little top knot where I pull the hair through and wrap it around. And then you can secure it with a bobby pin and fluff. And then once you fluff, you can just take this off. And you've got a cute little top knot bun. Hey besties, editing Mika here. Forgot to do an outro, but don't forget to let me know which style was your favorite in the comments below.